Hey everyone, I want to say thanks for joining me today. This is a, a very special day for me. Today is a day that I celebrate my birth. It's my birthday. I don't usually make a, a thing about my birthday, but today uh, happens to be my day for devotions, and today uh, is actually my birthday, a day that I celebrate with several people here at New Hope. I call them my birthday buddies, so shout out to all of you who I won't name today. But uh, being my birthday it made me uh, stop and contemplate a little bit about what I would share today, and I, I want us to think for just a moment. You know, our life, our time here on this earth is limited. And I think that we should be making the most of our lives, fulfilling the purpose for which we were created. To make the most out of life, we need to be focused on what matters most, our relationship with God, our relationship with our family and our friends, and fulfilling the purpose, the unique purpose for which God created me and placed me here on this earth. So what's holding us back from living this way? What are we waiting for? Why are we waiting? James 4.14 says, your life, what is your life? You are like a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Psalm 90.12, the psalmist says, teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. It makes me think about and contemplate the dash, that little line that separates the two important dates that define our lives, our beginning and our end. Every one of us has uh, one of those days on the left. We all mark that day. We celebrate it. We eat cake. We, we blow out candles and receive gifts. And yes, we all have one of those other days too, that right hand date. We don't really like to think about that, but it's inevitable. It's going to happen to all of us. We have no control over that first date. I mean, I didn't just say, okay, Saturday, February 11. That sounds like a good time to come into this world. No, I, I just kind of showed up. And for the most part, we have no real control over that other date either. The day that our life on this earth is over. The only thing that you and I have control over is that little line, that dash that separates the years of our birth and our death. That's what we have control over. So my question to you is this, how are you spending that dash? And what are you doing with your dash? There's the deal. You only get one of them. Nobody gets two. And listen, it's a good thing for you to deal with this question because life goes by so quickly. I think you probably figured that out by now. I mentioned James 4, 14 earlier. And James says this, you don't even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You're a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. The psalmist writes about the brevity of life several times. Psalm 102, 3, my days vanish like smoke. Psalm 144, 4, man is like a breath. His days are like a fleeting shadow. And Psalm 39, 5, you have made my life no longer than the width of my hand. My entire lifetime is just a moment to you. At best, each of us is but a breath. I think we all agree that life is fragile, it's precious, and incredibly short. And what I mean is, we say it a lot, time seems to be moving by faster and faster. I believe David is saying, I know that life is short. Help me, God, to live it to the most and not to waste it. So how are you living your dash? Are you living the dash, knowing fully who you are and why you're here? Or are you living a hurried life, spending precious time caring about things that really don't matter in the end? Unfortunately, that's a path that many people are on today. So here's what I want you to know. What you do with your life really matters. God did not breathe life into your body and knit you together in your mother's womb so that you can fast forward through life living only for you. God made you for a purpose. He didn't just create things for the fun of it. He created uh, you on purpose. Psalm 139, 16. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark womb. You saw me before I was born, and every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. It's an awesome passage. The Bible says that you and I were custom designed by Almighty God. You're not an accident. Regardless of the circumstances of your birth, you are not an accident. God planned you before you were even born. And the point is this, you were put on this earth for a purpose, to make a contribution to this world. There are things that God wants you to do, purposes that he wants you to fulfill, a life that he wants you to live. 
Ephesians 2.10 says we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do the good things that he planned for us long ago. You were what? He said you were God's masterpiece created to do what? Good things that he had already planned for you to do. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20 says, Don't you realize that your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You don't belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. So honor God with your body. For those of us who are in Christ, our dash is no longer our own. So the big question is, what are you doing with your dash? What are you doing with the life that God has given you? that Christ paid for with his life? Are you living it for him or are you living it in fast forward for yourself? Life, what you do with yours matters because your life is a gift from God. Live it for him. Have a great day. God bless you.